Okay, one last application of today's lesson. In this case, we're solving an equation. So let's see how we can apply the formula for finding roots to this problem. So the first thing that we notice, this is a six degree polynomial. It's a six degree polynomial. It means that we're looking for six solutions. What do we do next? Well, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to subtract 64 on on both sides. And we notice that we have x to the 6 is equal to negative 64 on. What do we do after this? After this, we translate into a problem like we've done before. So what is this question asking me to do? The question is asking me to find the six, six roots of negative 64 on. In other words, our complex number z equals 0 minus 64 on. Now we start looking for clues for our formula. Find the six, six roots. We know n. n is six. What about k? Oh boy, k is zero, one, two, three, four, and five. So we're going to look for six roots. What about r and theta? To figure out r and theta, you have to plot the point zero, comma, negative six. So we plot it. There it is. 0, negative 64. How do you find r? Well, you can do two things. Use the formula for r, or figure out that the distance from the origin to the point 0, negative 64 is 64. So your r equals 64. What about that? Well, let's see. Start on the positive x-axis, go counterclockwise until you get to this segment. You went 270 degrees. So theta is 270 degrees. Do we have everything we need? Yes, we have r, we have theta, we have n, and we have k. We write the formula. W sub k is equal to the nth root of r times cosine theta plus 360k divided by n plus i sine theta plus 360k divided by n. We substitute. N is 6, R is 64. Cosine of theta is 270 plus 360K divided by 6 plus I sine 270 plus 360k divided by 6. As always, before you start doing anything else, simplify. The 6 root of 64 is 2. Cosine of 45 plus. How did I get 45? 200. Well, let me show my work. Cosine of 270 divided by 6 plus 360k divided by 6 plus I sine 270 divided by 6 plus 360k divided by 6. So that is a k, not an h. We're almost there. 2 cosine of 45 plus 120k plus I sine 45 plus 
So now we have one number of W sub K. Now what are we going to figure out? W sub zero. W sub zero. So I'm going to skip a lot of work. Replace K by zero. This is two cosine of 45 degrees plus I sine 45 degrees. You don't need to use a calculator. We know cosine of 45 is square root of 2 over 2. We know sine of 45 is also square root of 2 over 2. So this is just square root of 2 plus square root of 2 pi. W sub 1. W sub 1 is equal to 2. Now we replace k by 1. Oh boy, really good. Uh, yes, 360 divided by 6 happens to not be 120. It happens to be 60. Isn't that great? Lucky for us, for the first time, no harm was done because 120 times 0 is 0, so it's 60 times 0. What about W sub 1? Okay, W sub 1, we're going to replace K by 1. But we get 2 times cosine of 105 plus I sine of 105. I like to do more, but I can't. A shorthand way of writing this is 2 CIS 105 degrees. No, we're not going to figure out 105 degrees cosine of 100 or sine of 100. No, we're going to not distribute the 2. We leave the answer in this form. It's easier for the teacher to grade. We continue. W sub 2. W sub 2 is going to be equal to 2. This time, we replace k by 2. 60 times 2 is equal to 120 plus 45 is 165. So cosine of 165 plus I sine of 165. Again, the reference angle would be 15 degrees. We're better off just leaving this answer as 2 CIS. 165 degrees. If you don't want to write that, then leave it in the previous form. W sub 3. W sub 3. Replace K by 3. This is 2 cosine of 225 degrees plus I sine of 225 degrees. Bad news this time, if you draw the angle, you get a reference angle of 45 degrees. So we can actually use special right triangles. This is 2 times negative square root of 2 over 2 minus square root of 2 over 2 pi. This is negative square root of 2 minus square root of 2 pi. Only two more to go. W sub 4. W sub 4 is 2 times cosine. 60 times 4 is 240 plus 45 is it 285. Again, we're lucky. A reference angle would be one of 75 degrees. There's nothing more than we can do. Just leave the answer in the form 2 CIS. 285, or you can leave it in the original form. The sixth and final root, W sub 5, is equal to 2 times cosine. Replace K by 5. Six times, 60 times 5 is 300, plus 45 is 345. This gives us a reference angle of 15 degrees not a special right triangle. So we're going to leave the answer in this form. So 2 CIS 345 degrees. 
And that concludes the lesson.